got a couple racks of baby bags on the reduced price all natural that's a good thing you don't want unnatural pork uh kind of just a buzzword doesn't mean anything but i guess it's not from mars this stuff is from earth so that's what you want to look for so we went in here we took the membrane off the back of the ribs to help with the tenderness so now we're going to go in with our proprietary sbs spice blend still been smoking and liberally season these bad boys. We want to season the back of them first so that way we're not seasoning them and flipping them and then flipping them again. This way you just have one flip and then you're done. Alrighty folks, time to get the unaffiliated brand pellet smoker going. Today I was using a competition blend, but I really like cherry also. Other fruit woods like apple go great with ribs and other pork, but you can't really go wrong, so just try it out and see what you like. Just don't overdo it with the mesquite. That can get bitter. Now that we've got our pellets loaded up, it's time to switch her on, turn it to smoke till we see a fire started, and then flip her over to 225 for the rest of the cook try out wrapped versus unwrapped on the ribs because there's been a lot of debate and uh, I've never wrapped them before but I guess we're gonna see today we got these things rubbed more than my inner thighs on a hot day so they're ready for the an affiliated brand pellet smoker Boy, here's a thing of beauty. We got that thin, light blue smoke starting, like I said, so we'll go ahead and flip her over to 225 for the rest of the cook, and the waiting game begins. But here's a tip for the meantime. Keep your work area clean. So, it's been about an hour. You know what that means, y'all. It's all right. It's all right to say y'all if you're smoking stuff, isn't it? I don't know. I, I, th I so. think so. I think so. But uh, yeah, so time for a spritzing. About equal parts ACV and apple juice. Let's get it. See what we're working with. Oh boy. Spritz, spritz, spritz. They say you can't spritz too much. So look at that. Look at this beauty. And then uh, probably try to do this about every hour. Keep that moisture in there, you know, but they're looking good. They're coming along. Go ahead and experiment with this spritzing liquid. Maybe all apple cider or season it up or something like that. But yeah, sky's the limit on this. Keep it clean. Clean. It's time to wrap the one that we're wrapping. Get a little, little, little spritzer. Get a little meat side down. Just enough of our liquid to make a little steam. Wrap it up. <clears throat> Just want to make sure it's sealed in there for the steam. Double it up. <clears throat> she should be sealed up beautifully. Wrapped up. Alright, we got the four, so now it's time for one more. Dollar for the blind taste. You're gonna be hungry. Oh yeah. This is DT Dare Tingo, official blind taste tester. One of them. Looking forward to it. He's good. It's been an hour. You know what that means. It's time to taste test or what? Sawsome. Oh, sawsome. Sawsome. One sawsome. more hour to wait. Sawsome. 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 Saws
Got he. Well, we had the one wrapped for an hour. I got it unwrapped here, so last step. Got some nice homemade barbecue sauce here. Just gonna lather that on here real liberally. Nailed it. Then give them another hour to set up, and then it's, then it's the time we've been waiting for. Try these puppies out. Just had that hour after the sauce. First impressions here, pulling them off the grill. You could immediately tell that the unwrapped ones are just stupid tender. It was hard to get them off, they're so tender. And then, uh, so we'll see. I'm gonna cut them up, one of each one for the taste testers and see which one they prefer and uh, see what it's all about. Number A in the front was the wrapped ones and then in the back there was unwrap the whole time naked so we'll see all right everyone this is the time you've been waiting for let's see how they taste and see what everyone thinks first impressions it looks like a rib this one looks better oh. in my opinion which one's a which one's b uh on your guys's left this one is number a Okay, number A <laughs> looks better That's in my lighter. opinion. Shout out sous vide everything. You guys should uh, watch your videos if you don't already. But yeah. Number A on the right. My it just right. seems a little bit more meaty. Well, but that could be just rib. the rib. Yes. Uh, Tried to get you guys consistent better. pieces, but... You think B looks better? Mm -hmm. It's they both look pretty moist, though. Well, go ahead. Go ahead with number A. Take okay. a bite. I'm gonna get your uh, how you're feeling about that. Oh man, it's tender. Yeah, it's super tender. <laughs> tender. Mm. It's just kind of sweet too. A little bit on the dry side. I was gonna say the same thing. It's a little dry, but right. it's still good. Yours isn't that dry. I'm sure chasing it down with a lot of Lacroix. <laughs> <laughs> I think number A is a pinch dry. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Interesting. Alright, are we going with right. like B? Number B. No. Go for B. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Number B. A little bit more of a bark, I feel like, on this one. I had a little bit more of a crisp. A lot moister. Mm hmm. I mean, I just took a bite. They're both delicious. They are both good? really good. Yeah, they both taste sweet. What do you think, Willie? I don't know which one's better. Well, we used the same sauce I'm on going, each one. I'm yeah. going B is better. Tango says B is more moist. More moist. Ah, this little is bit, hard. A little bit, uh, pretty close. Right? What do you guys think about the moisture? See, this other little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I think I'm going to go with A. A was more moist? I don't know, man. They're really close. I think well, A might be a little better though. I'm trying A again. All right. Well, final like A. Second bite confirms for me A. Final thoughts. Which one you like best, and then which one you think is which? Willie, go ahead. I think I had a weird bite because that one was way more tasty. But time. I just got the first time I bit it. Do you want me to go first? Go ahead. Okay. So I like A better. It's more moist. It's, I don't know, it seems more meaty, but that could just be the rib. But it's definitely more moist. So I go with A. And I think, I think it was the unwrapped. I think A was unwrapped. What do we mean wrapped? In front of no, I was going to say, what is wrapped? What's the difference? One of them was wrapped after four hours, and like the other one was oil? naked the whole yes. time. I so think, I think, yeah. I think the one, I think B was wrapped, and I think it's better than A. Even though they're both pretty moist and pretty good. Um, now that I'm kind of eating both of them here a little bit, they're both about the same. Really. Well, Tingo, what do you think? <laughs> Are they the same freaking one? Why are we no. laughing at me? <laughs> That's what I'm just thinking. Like, you got some placebo stuff going on here. Like I feel like these are the same. There's no placebo. You each, you each <laughs> got you each got Is one of each. Is a joke on us? So Tango, which one do you Sweet like better? Tango's consensus of what he likes and which one he thinks is which. 
I'm liking A better. Do you Number think it was eight. wrapped or unwrapped? Wrapped. It's gotta be. Now that I'm deep into it. So we it, both said it. the same thing, but so I said unwrapped was wrapped. and he said wrapped. Mal and Tingle said A wrapped. And you liked I said it better? Unwrapped. Yeah, she oh. said A I'm going just the opposite. So it was every other. Yeah, nobody thought the same thing. Are you ready? Yes. Number A was wrapped. Damn it. Number B was unwrapped. Well, they're both pretty good or what? Yeah, they're oh, both yeah. delicious. They're Turn them off so you can start eating it. Stutus. <laughs> Stutus. I guess. I think for some reason the unwrapped one helps. Oh, moisture. Moisture yeah. better. Is yeah, it is, the it is like the opposite of what you'd think, but yeah. mm. I tend to agree though. See, Number B, I'm unwrapped, just... was actually really good. See, and the piece mm. I have, I'm like, I don't know. Just, I don't know, it seemed like better flavor to me, too. They're really fun. They're close on the flavor. They're both delicious. They're both good. That's it's pretty the good. fat that makes it really good. You get a pretty yeah. tender. Yeah. They are both tender. And that's so, in conclusion, we didn't really come to any consensus other than they're both really good. So, I guess it's just a personal preference thing. Hey, if you have any tips or tricks or your preferred method go ahead and leave us a comment here if you like the video go ahead and subscribe to this channel sbs outdoors on youtube that really help us out and uh, maybe we'll do some more of these videos in the future but thanks for watching see you next time loves the fat she wants to talk to Cake Baker too. She's like, Daddy, let me talk to Cake Baker. <laughs> so he's not here, babe. Call him. Call him. <laughs> talk about this ribeye. That's one thing I would want to talk about, you know? Talk about this ribeye. <laughs> it is a Sunday after all. And I guess to get the extra sauce off the brush too, it's blessing to be with you. 4K resolution. Oh, we're rolling. These should be sealed up beautifully. Net. <laughs> what happened? Just tell me when. When? I can trim it. We record. Lab or lab or rob on whatever really. <clears throat> Take two. We're gonna lather that on rear. <clears throat> Take three. No, this this will be funny. Oh okay. <laughs> you recording? Just tell me when. Go. That cab. I actually forgot what I was going to say.